Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jeanette Owens with Heart and Soul Acrylics. Today I'm going to do a landscape swipe and at the top half of my painting I'm using my pre-mixed paints that I have in my bottles. I, I have these on hand because I use them often. So I do mix these paints with Floetrol and with the OGX Coconut Hair Serum. And my colors at the top of this canvas, I'm using a pool blue that is by Apple Barrel, and I'm also using a cobalt blue by the same. And I'm going to um, swipe upwards from down below instead of swiping from the top down. And I'm gonna swipe with white. My white does not have any OGX coconut hair serum in it. It is just the white paint mixed with a little bit of Floetrol to get the consistency that I like. So, after doing the sky, I decide to do the bottom half of my canvas in a um, field of flowers. And I'm leaving a little bit of negative space in between the sky and the foreground because I think I'm gonna come in and embellish with some mountain background and some pines of some sort. So below on my field of flowers, I'm using a medium green and a brilliant yellow, orange, pink parfait, a magenta, and a brilliant red. And like I said, these all do have the silicone in them. And I'm gonna use white as my swipe color and I'm gonna swipe from the top down on this one. I really hope that you enjoy these videos. And if you do, if you could take a moment to like and subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. In the description box, I'll have a link to my Instagram page. I'll have a link to my Etsy store if there's anything that you'd like to purchase. And I'd also have a link to my PayPal if you would like to leave a donation for art supplies. It helps tremendously. I always dampen the ends of my paper towel and then lay them in the swipe color and gently pull straight down. And after you do this, it's nice to give it a minute to just let the paint sit, sell up and see how much selling you're going to get before you decide if you're going to re-swipe or if you're going to use your heat gun or if you're going to torch it to activate more cells. And of course, you can always tilt your canvas to stretch those cells if you want them bigger. But I have decided that I'm going to do some balloon rolls to make more of a flowering effect in the field. Make sure you always wipe off your balloon in between rolls so that you don't get a muddy effect. So I decide I'm going to add in some background mountains. And then I will come back and embellish this once it's dry with uh, my acrylic paint pour markers. Well, they're not paint pouring markers, they're acrylic paint markers. <laughs> and I'm going to embellish it with some pines in the background.
here is the dry painting. This one was a lot of fun. Did some blue rolls in the flowers down below. I embellished it with the acrylic paint markers to do some pine trees. This one reminds me of Colorado Springs. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like and subscribe in the description box below. There'll be links to my Etsy store if you're interested in purchase anything, a link to my PayPal account if you would like to um, make a donation to my paint supplies, and also a link to my Instagram. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Y'all take care. Bye-bye.